I think about three, maybe four. There's a lot of hungry men out there. Actually, probably about four. Potatoes all picked. Can you believe a whole pot that big is four hills of potatoes? That's a lot. Anyway, let's see if the ones from Mallard's garden are bigger, hey mom? Yeah, let's see if the ones from this garden are bigger. I think they are a bit bigger, actually, even though it's just a little garden. The garden in the box. Look at the rosemary. Through the camera, though, Mom. They can't smell it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. They have to imagine how it smells. <laughs> Carrot hands. All dirty. Yay. <laughs> so, we're having fried chicken for supper tonight. The chickens come from our local pottery colony. We have about six that surround bigger. So they're butchered, they're grown and butchered on the Hutterite colony and they come to me frozen and they can't, I buy them in usually in lots of ten. So I have a big freezer in the basement and it's usually full of meat. The one disadvantage of course is that you have to carve it, you have to know how to hack it up. But my grandmother taught me, being a good Saskatchewan farm wife. Taking off the thigh, off the leg at the moment. Cutting the two apart. One nice chicken leg. Yum. Can't wait until it's good. <laughs> my daughter, who's running the flip for me today, says, Ah, when I grow up, I hope my husband does the cutting of the chicken for me. So this is the southern fried chicken. This is what would be called chicken fricassee. To brown the chicken. And when it's all nicely browned, you transfer it over to a roasting pan and place it inside your oven. Okay, for about an hour, hour and a half. And it's ready. There's the pot of potatoes ready to go, all clean. And there's the pot of beans. Dessert, Texas brownies. Yay! Mm. All cut up, ready to go to the field. So chicken fricassee, fry it and bake it in the oven and as you can see there's some juices that come out of the chicken. It's very, very tender. Fall off the bone, tender. It's my father-in-law's very favorite supper that I make. Gravy, of course, major food group, along with what I call smashed potatoes. And the potatoes, when the skin, when you leave the skins on, you cook them. It's smashed instead of mashed. So, this is my mom, <laughs> and she is right now doing beets. And she told me to um, film this. For a reason I have no idea. <laughs> it's for the film project that I'm working on, but okay. As you can see, I've got a new crew member on board. And this is his first time doing this. Ooh. So the beets are hot and cooked, but I have my gloves on because they're very hot. And they skin just like that. Cut them up. There is butter. They're ready to eat them. I'll let you get the chocolate. I'll let. Yeah. I'd just in some box for the truck, right? <laughs> There's all our food. Table. Why did we need an extra table, Mom? Oh, uh, it's a good spot for Kieran to eat. Oh, okay. To set his stuff down is to good. Oh, yeah. Because he's just little. We're going to go pick up three nephews and away we go.
Supper in field. My cleaner? Much cleaner. Ready for your supper? <laughs> yep. See? Look at that chicken. Are you hungry there, little man? Yeah. <laughs> All these starving men. It's a good thing. Gotta feed them. I'm starving me. Oh, yes, right. I'm starving daughter. Picnic in the field, pretty makeshift, but. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is oh, you. The first hey. time I've ever had a picnic in a field. It's the second time I've ever had a picnic. <laughs> that's right, taking coffee out's one thing. Having a picnic in the field, that's something else. And I don't think that we could get a more picturesque location. It's gorgeous.